Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a half case break of 2018 Panini Prism Football. Uh, this is six box. Pick your team number six on the 16th. So big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Elvis with the triple last spot mojo got the last three teams to knock out this break. Thank you, sir. And thanks everyone else too for getting into the action. All right, so we did the first half last night. Second half tonight, we're looking for three autographs and nine number parallels per box on average. We've got Saquon and Zeke on the front of the box. We've got, where's my, there's my knife. I don't know why I put it over there, but good luck everybody. Here we go. Well, the prism we have at the moment, prism football. But speaking of prism, ladies and gentlemen, keep an eye out next week for prism basketball. 1819 Panini prism basketball on jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's going to be huge. Huge. Good luck, boys and girls. Here we go. There's C.J. Mosley. Saquon Barkley. C.J. Mosley again. That's out of 275. I'm going to set those aside right here. We'll sleeve and top load those before they ship out. Our shipping team will take care of that. We got Corey Davis for the Titans out of 75. We got Dylan Contrell. At a 199. Instant Impact, Lamar Jackson. Royce Freeman at a 249 die cut. And Antonio Callaway, Silver Prism. These are one per box. Josh Sweat is your first autograph as well. So Josh goes to the Eagles, Bulldog fan with the Eagles. The Antonio Callaway goes to the Browns, Jeremy Merle with the Browns. Those one per box silvers make, make those uh, pretty valuable. Obviously, depends on the player, but more valuable than it has been in previous years when they were like one per pack. Kalen Bellage at a 275 for the Dolphins. Ray Ray McLeod for the Bills at a 149. We got Jair Alexander, J. Hay, Packers. That'll be for Justin Ward and the Go Pack Go. Robert Woods die cut to 199. Rams hosting a big matchup against the Chiefs on Monday night. Brian Dawkins, Pierre Garcon, is 249. Who does everyone have in that game? It's a. Uh, I think the Rams are favored minus three and a half. What, is there, what does everyone think is going to happen there? Luke Keekley to 275. <laughs> Nola Cardboard saying that Green Bay rookies are the Taj Boyds of 2018. Noble Taj Boyd. What is Taj Boyd up to these days?
All right. The redemption. Good luck, everyone, is Dante Pettis. Rookie Autographs Prism Blue Scope. That'll be for the Niners. Dante Pettis for the Niners. Lee with the Niners. Probably washing cars. You don't. Th you don't think he saved any of his signing bonuses? Invested that wisely. You know, maybe maybe bought some real estate house. No. <laughs> Went back to Clemson, finished his degree. You don't think he did that? <laughs> no, he might have gotten. Was he four year guy? Finish his communications degree. He's got to be doing something. He's got to be like, he's, you don't think he's doing like, like some random college football game, color commentator for some random college football game on some random network. Quarterbacks coach for like a D3 school. Maybe not. He probably is doing just more fun picturing washing cars. I think he actually got into like a little, a little bit of legal trouble in between jobs. I want to say maybe it's maybe it was him or maybe I'll think of something someone else. I'm pretty sure it was Taj Boyd. Got, got like in a fight outside a club or something like that. Uh, so, well, speaking of Nola Cardboard, Lindsay, since you're in the house, uh, what do you think about the uh, what do you think about the Saints minus eight and a half at home? Hosting the you guys are hosting the the Eagles. How do you feel? Uh, I'll take your I'll take your thoughts with a grain of salt because you are. You know, Nola cardboard that makes sense, right, everybody? There's Jordan Reed to ninety nine. Do we do we like uh, do we like New Orleans minus eight and a half against well not against this guy but this team Nick Foles out of forty nine. Purple X Factor, love the purple X Factors this year. They're gonna blow out the Eagles. Out of 249. It's Josh Rosen. You know, you don't think the you don't think the Eagles not as bad as we spanked the Bengals, but it'll be pretty bad, he's Nola Cardboard saying. Any Eagles fans out there with a retort? There's Julian Edelman for the Patriots, tie dye. There's Joe Flacco and Luke Falk for the Titans. That'll be for Elvis Ekman and the Titans. Joey Saldana says Saints by double digits. No, no, no faith in in Carson Wentz. Golden Tate does nothing for you guys. Golden Tate with a little extra extra practice, you know, after that first week, then another week with Carson Wentz. You know, they're making a connection. That Joe Flacco goes to Joe Howard. There you go, Joe. There's Chris Hogan to 149. Nelson Aguilar. There's Mike Kosicki to 75. Nola Cardboard says, still too early for Tate and Wentz to connect. All right, well, what about, what about that... Uh, That'll go, that one will go to the Dolphins, by the way, Jeremy Anderson. What about the, the Eagles' front seven? Don't, don't they have a pretty pretty mean defensive line? You could get to the quarterback. Maybe, maybe stuff that running game a little bit. Terrell Edmonds for the Steelers. That'll go to Michael Gallucci. Steel Curtain and the Steelers. There you go, Mike. Now there's this guy, too. So do the Rams. That's true. But the Rams have been exposed a little bit, haven't they? I guess the Eagles have to. <laughs> Melvin Ingram. Die cut to 199. 
There's that. What about Zach Ertz? That guy, that guy could go off. The 249, Simi Cobbs Jr. Orange. Oh, that means yeah, Saints O line is pretty good. I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to be devil's advocate here. There's Matt Stafford to 275. And Anthony Miller, autograph, nice. He's been playing well. All right, so we got two people saying, and Joey Saldana, he's he's not from NOLA. He's got he's got no dog in the fight. He's saying Saints are unstoppable right now. All right, fair enough. What about the Bears? Bears are at home with this guy. Seems to have a nice connection with Trubisky. Bears are minus two and a half. All right, I think they're still two and a half. Minus two and a half. Hosting the Vikings in an NFC North matchup. What does everyone think there? Oh, Mr. Mike's daddy is uh, is going to be the the contrarian voice in the room. He's saying, hey, Lindsay, I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I'm just wondering if they're going to win by nine points or not. And I think that Bears-Vikings matchup could be really interesting too. You say Vikings by six. No, I'm not, not scared of that, that Chicago Bears defense. They are at home. They're outdoors. The cardboard's maintaining that, hey, they think they're going to win by 12. Saints are going to win by 12. Saints usually allow one, to be fair. It'll be a late, but late surge. All right. Yeah, maybe late surge. Mr. Mike Zay suggesting I take the points. The Eagles plus eight and a half. I don't know. I, I took the Eagles last week, and look what they did against the Dallas Cowboys. Nothing. Oh, he's asking about about his Jets versus the bye week. He has bye week minus 10. I'll take the points on that. There's Jamon Moore. Jamon, man. You got you to gotta work on that auto, Jamon Moore. I'd like to see later in the, see, later in the year, I'd like to see more, more activity on that autograph. That goes, still goes to the Packers, though. Justin Ward with the Go Pack Go. We've got Jadavion Clowney out of 75. And now Clowney's got a bruised shoulder. We got Marcel Aitman to 199. Calvin Benjamin, orange die cut for the Bills out of 249. Carry on Johnson, AJ Green to 275 for the Bengals. Jalen Ramsey out of 99 for the Jaguars. That's the uh, that's the blue scope for whoever got that redemption. What was that redemption again? Whatever that redemption was. Oh, the Dante Pettis uh, Lee with the Niners. It'll look like that Jalen Ramsey. Jim Kelly, Samaj P. Ryan, at two ninety nine. And we've got out of one ninety nine, Danny Etling. For the Patriots. Twenty-four out of one at ninety-nine. Hundred and ninety-ninth pick. When's the Danny Edling era gonna start? Patriots, that goes to TJ Poyer. 
When's, when's the when's the Etling era gonna begin? Harold Landry to 249. Bruce Irvin to 275. Still Raiders edition there. That goes to Elvis Ekman. My Raiders. There's Leonard Floyd and points. Remember, we'll uh, randomize those points, winner take all on the points if we get more than one. Riley Ferguson to 149. Rashad Penny and Ronnie Harrison. My Raiders are uh, on the road. They're in Arizona. Minus Arizona Cardinals are minus five and a half. My Raiders aren't aren't gonna be. I wonder if my Raiders will score five and a half points. All right, we are halfway through this half case break. All right. Good luck, everybody. Next box. Joe, you want to talk? You want to talk Texans? We got Texans are minus three at at Washington. Texas road short road favorites. Who does everyone have there? I, if I had to choose, I kind of like the Texans there, minus three. What kind of injuries do they have right now, Joey? I like I like the Texans. No Will Fuller, but there seems to be rolling along nicely. They got a good defense. Washington, who does Washington scare anybody? Texans by four. I don't think the Redskins scare anybody. I think Texans by like a touchdown. I think it's like 17-10. Texans. Oh, is Clowney banged up? And now Clowney's got a bruised shoulder. Remember remember that coach from uh, University of South Carolina? I forget who that coach was when Clowney was there. And Clowney was kind of banged up, but not banged up. So he was trying to preserve his like number one like status or whatever, or his uh, top pick. He was really frustrated and during a press conference. He goes, he goes, and now Clowney's got a bruised shoulder. And he was just like, well, he was talking about this guy, that guy, and now Clowney's got a bruised shoulder. And he's like, I don't know if he's going to play or not. And I was counting on him. And now he's not going to play. Is he going to play? That was the whole drama. One, one, of the, one of the great, there's Ryan to the Izzo, R to the Izzo. Was it Steve Spurrier? Out of 149. I think it was Steve Spurrier, right? And I was like, he's kind of a famous college coach. It was great. One, one of my, that's almost, that's, that's right, to me, that's right up there with, uh, with, uh, I'm a man, I'm 40. Right, the, well, Gamecocks, Joey. Easy. Family show. Watch out. AJ Green, <laughs> die cut to 249. Watch out with that. Gamecocks kids, not just regular ones. All right, next, next box. That's almost as good as uh, Gundy. I'm a, the I'm a man. I'm forty. That's a that's a classic. Dennis Green, rest in peace. They are who we thought they were. That's always a classic. P playoffs, playoffs. It's always a good one. Oh, yeah, I remember the Dennis Green rant. It's classic. 20 out of 25, Michael Gallup. Nice blue scope for the Cowboys. Bulldog fan. Hello, right, her remember words. Hello, you play to win the game. Classic. Right. Like when you're on the opponent's when you're on the opponent's forty yard line. Like don't 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 punt. Just go for it on the fourth on fourth down. Go for it. You play to win the game. Tremaine Edmonds. 
for the Bills, Purple X Factor. What was the, uh, why am I blanking on his name? 49ers legend who ended up coaching and he was just like, I forgot what, he had a great one too. And he was he was mad at uh, one of the at Vernon Davis I think, it was, and he he went off on some rant that's pretty good too. There's Bo Scarborough, another autograph for Will and the Cowboys. Right, but, oh Singletary, right, right, right. But what he had, what was his quote? It was like, oh yeah, he was. I want winners. I want I want players that want to win. And then he just goes off, and one of the one of the funniest ones, funny parts is like he he was just like, can't win with him, can't can't coach him, can't win with him, something like that. And he, and he was talking about players he doesn't want, does he doesn't want to coach? There's Gurley to two seventy five, not gonna do it. <laughs> There's the juice, OJ Howard. Silver Prism, and he reveals a Lorenzo Carter autograph for the Giants. That'll be for EA. That's an NFC East box right there. Nola Carr Lindsay, who has his Saints, looking for looking for Saints parallels. He's looking for Saints color. Where he's like, where where are they at? And yeah, where are they? I don't think we've seen any. Right? There's Kyle Oletta, ninety nine. Silver Prism OJ Howard goes to the Buccaneers. That'll be for Alex Lindsay. There you go, Alex. Slide these over here. Like I said, we'll sleeve and top load those before they get shipped out. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Do we have any other orders coming in? I don't know if I see any. I'm trying to figure out what what uh, what people may or may not want to do tonight. I see zero orders coming since Elvis's three football teams. So is this it? Er early early Friday night for Joe. Joey's already already looking ahead to Topps Dynasty baseball, huh? Um. That's usually that's usually a pretty heavily allocated product. I don't think we'd be able to get more than a few cases. They don't make very many cases. So they gotta try to spread that out amongst everybody who wants that. So that's a high demand product too. Uh, I forget how we did them. I think we did. I think we would do. How many cards are in that one? I think I get that confused with like diamond icons and no, is that the one with just one? With just one per box? The one per box one. Yeah, okay. I think we've generally done I don't know, look at our look at our old video. Look at 2017. And then then that'll probably give you an idea of how we did it. Although I can tell you we rarely do drafts just because not all the people are there, are in the room at the same time for a draft. All right. Good luck, everybody. Second to last box. We got Isaiah Crowell. Die cut for the Jets. Case Keenum out of 99. Do the uh, do the Broncos have a shot against the? Their Broncos are plus seven. Broncos are plus seven against uh, in LA though. Plus seven against the Chargers. There's Isaiah Oliver. I, I think I kind of like like the Broncos plus seven. There's Josh Allen die cut out of one ninety nine.
And we got 104 out of 199, Kalen Bellage for the Miami Dolphins. Red Wave. Jeremy Anderson. Got Cortland Sutton, speaking of the Broncos. Autograph. Nice. Steve Freeze with his Broncos. Steve. Are you, I don't know if Steve's listening right now. It's a Friday night. He's probably out and about. But Steve Freeze, you let me know what you think about the uh, about the Broncos plus seven. Broncos fans travel. It's not like it's not like the Chargers would have any kind of home field advantage. <laughs> Joey Salna says, "I don't touch divisional games usually in my parlays, but I take the Chargers." He says. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like taking Denver plus seven could be too cute. There's Khalil Mack out of 199 die cut. Still Raiders edition there. And we've got Isaiah Oliver. For, for Michael Gallucci, Seal Curtain, and the Dirty Birds. Kenyon Drake to 275. Jerome Baker to 275. And Julian Eldman, red wave to 149. All right, folks, last box. Good luck. Oh, so you check. It is random hit for Dynasty. Okay, that's what I thought. With only five there, I think people don't want to really spend big money to not get a hit, I guess. I think they'd rather spend the extra uh, to guarantee themselves a hit, even though it might not be the best one. You know what, Mike? I was kind of thinking the same thing. I don't know if we saw a silver in that box, right? The one per box silver? Nope, my bad. That's it right there. I accidentally breezed by it. Deron Payne. Sorry guys, I was trying to I was trying to short TJ Poyer the uh, Deron Payne. You got me, Michael Gallucci. Seal curtain got me. Try to Brandon Cook to ninety nine. That one. Can't get anything by this crew, folks. This Jaspie crew. Oh, Joe Howard saw it too. How did I not see it? I just breezed by it then. Speaking of Steel Curtain, Steel Curtain, how do we feel about how do we feel about the Steel Curtain minus five and a half in Jacksonville? And while I have you, Joe, how do you feel about your Ravens? Minus six and a half, hosting, uh, hosting a cat team, the Bengals. We'll get the fan reports, ladies and gentlemen. Carry on Johnson out of 249. Carry on my wayward son, die cut for the Lions, EA. Josh Allen... Travis Kelsey out of 275. Oh, Michael Galush says take the points, huh? Interesting. And take the points for Cincinnati too, says Joe Howard. Okay, so so the 
the fans of the team's not feeling too confident. And I guess Steelers on the road. They do play a little differently. There's Shaquem Griffin, 275. Now, Ravens are kind of frustrating, Joe. How I don't probably don't have to tell you this, but I always feel like, you know, right when they're on the cusp of like, oh, you know, like they got their, their defense is clicking, their offense is working, and then, and then sometimes an egg. Eight out of 99, Darius Slay to 99. Nice Sam Darnold and Russell Gage. Red Wave autograph. For the Falcon. So the autograph goes to Steel Curtain. And this Sam Darnold goes to Elvis and the Jets. Now, no ink, Elvis. But this is a, just a tiny bit of last box wizardry. Believe it or not, these are only one per box. So they actually might sell pretty well. Might be, might be worth a look up. There's Khalil Mack to 75. Wow, man. So they, they've been 44 and 45 since their Super Bowl. Just, just been mediocre. We got Mason Rudolph, 86 out of 99. Blue Scope, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer going to Michael Gallucci. Steel Curtain and the Steelers. It might be a little bit more than five dollars for the Darnold, Joey. Actually, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what what they could be, but I know they're more than what they usually would be. If that makes sense. In 2017, those were like one per pack, or they were pretty common. But now that they restricted them to one per box, that has really boosted the value on those, especially for the top rookies. There's Case Keenum. Gronk to 249 die cut. There's Peyton Manning. It almost looks like he has a mustache there. I think that's just the shadow of his, his face mask. There's Amari Cooper to 199. Still Raiders edition on that die cut. And. Oh, one more. There's Jaleel Scott. It's an autograph for Joe. There you go, Joe, an autograph for you. There you go, yeah, there you go. So Seal Curtain saying Silvers are selling well. He sold a Saquon for 150. Nice. That's pretty strong. So maybe the Darnold will do, do surprisingly well as well. Well, there you go, kids. We do have that 250 points to randomize. So let's go to random.org. All right, so let's get all the names here. A little consolation prize, perhaps. Let's randomize that list. One and a four, five times. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Good luck. Name on top is Conrad. There you go, Conrad. After five times, a little consolation prize for you, 250 points. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. More football in the store. Check it out. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.